Suddenly, two strong arms gripped mine and pulled me back. It was security. I felt a little proud, knowing that they protected him from me rather than me from him. The Mayu stumbled to his feet and wiped his large, toothy mouth with a small hand. I noticed places where his skin turned a darker, bruised violet. I wondered what story he would come up with to explain where he got the marks whenever he got home. You, you animal, he cried. All I did was touch your stocking. My boss, the largest Nazok I'd ever seen, stepped in between the two of us. I'm very sorry for your bad experience, sir. Kogom almost purred. If you'd like a complimentary drink on the house before you go. A complimentary drink? The man shrieked. I want to see you punish that rabid creature you call a dancer. Kogom looked at me, and I could see he didn't exactly disagree with the customer's portrait of me. It wasn't exactly the first time I'd gotten into trouble under his watch. To be fair, when I wasn't assaulting customers, I also made him quite a bit of money. Don't worry, he said, turning back to the customer. I'll deal with her. But, sir, it is against the rules to grab the dancers while they're on stage. Against the rules, the blue man spat back. Did you see what she did to me? Why, if your bumbling security oafs hadn't finally arrived when they did, she might have ripped me to shreds. Unfortunately, I didn't think my nails were strong enough to really make that true. Also, Tilks and Novar, who worked security at the club, were both great. No one would get torn to shreds on their watch. Usually I appreciated them. But at that moment, I wished whichever one of them was holding my left arm would stop twisting it so much. Like I said, we'll deal with her, Kogom said, obviously intending to worry me. It worked. But we also are going to have to ask you to leave. Well, see if you ever get my business again, the customer said. He walked off limping slightly from the fall. I don't know why he did, but he continued speaking while exiting the club. Imagine kicking someone out for getting attacked by one of your own dancers. It's an outrage. Why, when others hear about this? He kept on going in more or less the same tone the whole way out the door. That was when Kogom turned his attention to me. My office. Now. Kogom stalked off, and Tilks and Novar finally let me go. I sighed and walked after Kogom, running over in my head everything awful that he might do or say.